Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today our topic is Ether channel. So Ether channel is a link aggregation technology that is developed by Cisco. Basically, this is used to combine the multiple Ethernet links into a single logical link that will work as a single link. So there are a number of benefits of this technology such as it will increase the bandwidth and redundancy and it will also do the load balancing. The key features of the Ether channel are it increases the bandwidth. Like if you need a link, let us assume you have you have a network in which multiple switches are connected and the bandwidth of a single link can be 100 Mbps for Ethernet channel and you want to enhance the speed up to, one, to 500 Mbps. So in that case, you can create an ether channel by combining the multiple links okay it provides the redundant path scalability that is means you can enhance the speed or bandwidth and reduce at the same time and maximum eight links can be aggregate in that okay so combined link also balances the traffic in ether channel we aggregate the links there are two different links connected to the two switches there are two switches and there are two links connected like this and I need a speed of 200 Mbps. Currently, we have fast Ethernet cables of 100 Mbps. So what I will do, I will create an Ether channel. When these two interfaces will be combined, a single interface will call, is known as the port channel and it will also give an identity one, right? Because it will follow all the protocols, procedure, as a single link so the total bandwidth after combining the two links will be equal to what 200 mbps 100 mbps plus 100 mbps 200 mbps there are two types of ether channel first of all static ether channel and dynamic ether channel static ether channel configured manually by network administrator so this method is doesn't have any dynamic process or negotiation of protocols or doesn't need any consistence directly we can create the ether channel by the direct method that is called own method okay i will combine four interface to enhance the speed up to 400 mbps i will combine all the interface from one to four and port channel one will be created on both sides okay so these are the command used to configure the ether channel. Let me open my Cisco packet tracer. Now we are going to configure up the ether channel by the static method. So let's go to switch, enable configuring terminal. Okay. Interface range FA0 slash 1 to 4. I'm selecting all the interfaces at the same time, right? channel channel group one channel group one mode on okay by this command all the interfaces will be combined into a single interface right now i will do the configuration on other side also go to the switch enable configuring terminal channel group one First of all, select the interface, interface range, FA0 slash 1 to 4, channel, group 1, mode, on. By this command, you can statically configure the ether channel. Okay, so after some time, the ether channel will be created and the bandwidth of this ether channel will be 400 Mbps. And on both sides, the links will be combined to make a single channel, single port that is called port channel. That will be equal to FA 0 slash 1, 1, FA 0 slash 1, 2, 3, and 4, FA 0 slash 2, FA 0 slash 3, and FA0 slash 4. So these four interfaces will be combined to create a port channel 1. So when you want to configure this single logical interface that is called port channel, so you can directly select PO. Okay. 
let's check how we can create a trunk link by the help of port chain okay so interface port channel one this is how you can select this logical interface okay switch port more trunk right this command is used for to create the trunk okay interface port channel one right switch port more trunk right if you want to observe the configuration so show interface go to privilege mode show interface port channel one so you can see that all the information are available here like four interfaces are combined to create a single channel that is fa0 slash one two three four the speed is 500 mbps right so uh, the speed is and will be increased after creating this okay there are a number of details over here and by this command show ether channel this command it will show you that the ether channel group one is created and four ports are available right show ether channel right summary by this command it will show you that port channel one is created by the help of combining four link okay show interface interface trunk so it will show you that the trunk has been created by the help of port channel one and all the vlans are allowed over this one okay now we will create the ether channel dynamically okay let's go to a version so dear there are some dynamic method to create the ether channel also first one is pagp protocol it is a cisco property that automatically negotiate and create it, that automatically negotiate the creation of ether channel so the negotiation process will be appear in case of port aggregation protocol a link aggregation protocol is open standard okay both has different different modes for the for creating the ether channel okay if i talk about the dynamic ether channel so these two protocols will be used port aggregation protocol and the link aggregation protocol the bundling will be done by the help of negotiation so there are some possible combination of PHP protocol and LACP protocol for the negotiation. In this table, you can see the possible combination. If both side we have on mode, the ether channel will be static. Okay. In case of LACP protocol, active can actively negotiate with active as well as passive. Passive. So active plus active will be ether channel. If both side we have active configuration, then the ether channel will be formed. Okay. If we have active on one side, passive on other side, there will be ether. It will create an ether channel. Okay. But if the passive mode on both side, then there will be no ether channel. Okay. These are the possible combination of LACP. In case of PAGP, the auto will not negotiate with auto but auto the but the desirable can negotiate with uh, desirable as well as the auto mode of the ether channel so in this case if both side we have desirable mode the desirable plus desirable will be ether channel desirable plus auto will also create an ether channel but if on oh, both side we have auto mode then there will be no ether channel so let's do the configuration of desirable active okay so lacp is an open standard protocol that we have discussed there are two modes active and passive that we have just discussed about that so the ieee standard is ieee 802.3 ad right and the active mode will be actively negotiate to create the ether channel but passive waits for other side to initiate the negotiation okay so that is means it will wait for a message from other side to create an ether channel okay so this is these are the configuration to create the ether channel select the interface multiple interface 
then create a channel group one and provide the mode information so this is how the lacp configuration can be done so let's do this practically okay there are two switch now dear first of all on left side we will do the configuration of ether channel then we will move forward to the right one okay now we are going to combine all the four links by the help of what lacp protocol okay in case of LACP configuration, you have to create on the basis of active or passive. Okay. So go to CLI enable configuring terminal. Okay. Interface range FA0 slash 1 to 4. I'm selecting four interfaces at the same time. Right. And channel group 1 channel group group 1 mode active i'm creating ether channel on the basis of what active by this command on left side the configuration will be done right we have done the active configuration on the left side let's move forward to the right side of the link and we'll see what will happen in this in this case okay on right side go to global configuration mode enable configuring Terminal, okay, interface range F is 0 slash 1 to 4. 1 to 4. Channel. Channel. Group 1. Mode. Passive. I am creating passive on one side and active on other side. And you already know that active plus passive will be combined to create the ether channel so you can see that the ether channel will be created and this is port channel port channel 1 which is the combination of what four different interfaces f0/1234 will be combined to create a one port channel interface okay so let's check the summary about it okay show ether channel so it is answering that one ether channel has been created okay show ether channel summary so it will answer me that one ether channel is created port channel one that is done by the help of lacp protocol fa0 slash one two three four ports are connected to do, do that okay now let's discuss about the pagp in pagp this is a basically pagp is a cisco property but lacp is open standard so desirable is same as in DTP. So desirable can create the negotiation with the desirable. That is mean actively attempt to negotiate with other side. It will initiate the negotiation process. Auto mode waits for the negotiation message from other side. That is means if both side the auto will be there, there will be no initiation of the ether channel process. And that is why no ether channel will be formed if both side we have auto mode now we will create the ether channel on the basis of dynamic plus auto because the combination of dynamic plus auto is of, is also equal to what ether channel okay let's go to our cisco packet tracer again let me connect four more switch now and we'll create the ether channel with that okay um, i have just connected two different switches let me connect the cables so f0 slash 1 f0 slash 2 f0 slash 3 and f0 slash 4 we have taken the four ports in this case okay now let's start the configuration of pagp in pagp we have auto desirable combination enable configuring terminal in global configuration mode select the interface interface range f0 slash 1 2 4 channel group one mode desirable okay now it has initiated the it will initiate the ether channel process now here we will create the auto mode configuration on right side and auto plus desirable will be equal to what the ether channel okay here i have configured the desirable here i will configure the auto and we already know that the auto plus desirable will be equal to what the ether channel so let me configure the auto mode okay enable 
configuring terminal interface range fa 0 slash 124 then channel group 1 channel group 1 mode auto okay here you can see after some time the ether channel will be formed okay show ether channel summary you can see that the port channel 1 is created by the help of PAGP protocol that is combination of four different interfaces fe 0 slash 1 2 3 4 the speed is 500 mbps show interface port channel 1 you can see the speed is enhanced up to 500 mbps okay the bandwidth is what 500 mbps approximately so this is how we can increase the bandwidth by the help of what ether channel okay everyone have a nice day please subscribe my channel thank you Thank <laughs> you.